All right, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm gonna show you our off-grid camper setup. So we've got our uh, 1990 Toyota 4Runner. It's a four-wheel drive V6. Um, and then this is a 1992 Dodge W250 with a 1986 Bigfoot C8 camper, um, which has been renovated on the interior. So I'll show you the rig real quick. This is a 99, 1992, like I said, with a 12 valve Cummins. And then here's the interior. Got a bench seat uh, with the cover, you know, because we're dirty out here. It's a five speed manual. And, you know, it's got the, the manual transfer case shift lever, a bench seat console. And there's some room in the back for our tools, you know, our drills, screws, sockets, etc. Inside we've got our Garmin GPS loaded with OpenStreetMap for the back logging roads. And then up here I usually put my phone. And then, you know, between vehicles we use FRS radios. And then I also have a small uh, Uniden Pro 520XL CB radio. And that's the fire stick with the stainless spring all tuned up. And so that's the rig and I've also got a VHF UHF handheld radio that we can listen to logging traffic with. So the Bigfoot on this side if you want to follow us on Instagram 90s rough cuts um, in here we've got our two 20 uh, I think it's 20 20 gallon tank or, or the, what's what's the 20 20 pounder sorry so 40 pounds total. 40, pound, uh, 40 pounds of propane in here. Let me show you that real quick. And this is plumbed into the fridge, the stove, and the heater. Nice compact little setup. And here is the fill for the water tank. The water tank is about 30 gallons. If I can get this open. <laughs> 30 gallons, change all the screws to stainless. That's the exhaust for our propane heater. This is a um, marine grade 30, amp, I think it's 30 amp uh, inlet outlet or inlet, I guess, that runs to the Jenny. This is the outlet, a new stainless outlet for the sink and a stainless inlet and repainted this uh, cover for a uh, water inlet if you're at a campsite, which we never use because we're never at a campsite. Who pays for campsites? <laughs> um, got our levels on this side and this side to make sure uh, to tell if it's easy if we're uh, level or not once we're at the site. Got our stainless tie downs, both front and back, tied into the frame rails at the front and the back. And then let me show you the other side before we go inside. Uh, I still need to rebuild the four jack posts. That's on my to-do list. Um, but for the most part, I've taken care of a lot of the interior and exterior, changed all the screws to stainless, like up here, and resealed, you know, all stainless screws up there, resealed all the windows with uh, the Pro ProFlex RV or Geo, whatever the heck it's called. The stuff that you're supposed to use on, on an RV, not silicone. Um, so this is the vents for the fridge. And then this is the battery slash storage compartment. It's not really meant for a battery because there's supposed to be vents if you're using a lead acid battery because it gives us hydrogen and gas. So I'll just throw that guy in there. Our 112 volt lead acid battery to run the fan at night. Uh, we haven't done that yet so we'll see if it works overnight. Um, here's the front view. And here's our camping view real quick. We're at the northern tip of Vancouver Island. That is San Joseph Bay. I'll give you a tour of the inside. This is our nice big window facing the view. Here's the rear. There's a light, exterior light on the outside here for at night. Um, the interior has been completely renovated. Uh, the flooring is a peel and stick vinyl floor. Cushions reupholstered by my wife. Uh, the interior was completely sanded and repainted with a white, uh, a nice bright white. All the cabinet hardware was changed 
all the cabinet hinges were changed. This all used to be a wood grain original, really dark in here. All the lights used to be incandescent, changed all those to LEDs. Uh, repainted the lowers gray, all the, uh, the covers there are black and change the outlets, change the range hood, put nice accent walls, put in a new mattress, uh, tinted the rear windows, and I made covers for the upper windows. What else? We'll give you a tour of the inside. So down here, this model of camper doesn't come with a washroom, so this is our washroom. <laughs> we got the toilet paper, and then wet wipes is our shower. So we've got our, you know, our toilet and our shower in one drawer. Utensils, lighter to light the stove, can opener. We got a nice little stainless sink, changed out the faucet um, and the fittings underneath. I'm not gonna show you that. Uh, peel and stick backsplash, white tile, four burner stove. This opens up and just folds like that. And then you can make supper or lunch or whatever. Stainless range head, change this out. Got that from uh, eTrailer.com. All these uh, windows slide open, just like that. Then they lock in place, just like that. Um, I'm gonna show you up here. You know, lots of storage, cups, plates. Um, you know, food, bananas, craft dinner, utensils, tons of food in there. Wardrobe, store some shirts and clothes. Lots of windows up here, more storage, another LED light, more windows at the front, windows at the side. This guy here, more storage, just got some blankets up there. Our utility drawer. Batteries, you know, um, bear spray, crab traps, uh, more toilet paper, games. Um, this whole unit here folds down into a bed. So those legs come up, that table uh, rests on a ledge there, and then this folds up and it has a leg. I changed out these legs um, to units that were better because the other ones weren't staying up well. What else? Uh, we've got our carbon monoxide detector there that gives you a temperature that's the right there and then this is the furnace controls gives you temperature and then you can set the thermostat and then on this side this is our indoor outdoor temperature unit that gives you the indoor temp and humidity and then outside there is the uh, outside sensor um switch this out to a nice new switch that's the control for the pump um, on the sink. So this side controls your water from the tank inside. And then this side is if you're hooked up at a campsite. These are your fuses. Um, for your, this is your AC to DC converter, if you're plugged in. And I changed this outlet to have USB switch and a 15 amp, a new 15 amp outlet. It's the furnace, propane furnace and repainted the cover. Down here is your pots and pans, storage. Let me get that out of the way. And then down there, this drawer goes into your bed so you can store some, you know, propane bottles, uh, extension cords, outdoor type stuff. Under here is your water tank. That also opens, gives you access to the water pump. And then this goes into your truck bed, or sorry, to your cab. And then of course the mattress. And that's it. That's our off-grid camper setup. Oh, I didn't show you in the fridge. It's full of beer. In here. Fridge full of beer and food. Bacon. Veggies, of course, because we're healthy, I guess. <laughs> um, underneath here is more storage for beer, water, um, and shoes and whatnot. That's it. That's our off-grid camper setup. David's chopping some wood. Gonna get a fire going. Have some food. Watch the sunset. Listen to some tunes.
What do you say, David? Do you like our off-grid camper setup? Yes. Yes. We do not have it the other way. Me neither. All right. New is not necessarily better. Cheers. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Oh, wait, we don't have Twitter. <laughs> Facebook. Uh, follow us on Instagram and YouTube. Cheers.